Okay, our next presenter is Heather Deal. She's a second year PhD student in cell and molecular biology through the Department of Animal Sciences. And she knew she wanted to study microbial decomposers when she observed how quickly they could decompose a human body. And I don't know why she was watching a human body de decompose, but she's also ambidextrous and distantly related to Johnny Cash. Uh, and the title of her presentation this afternoon is Solving Crimes with Microbes. As a forensic investigator works to reconstruct a death scene, one of the most critical pieces of evidence that they try to establish is time since death. This can aid in investigations in many ways, such as validating alibis, narrowing down suspects, or identifying the disease. However, current methods for estimating time since death have limitations, so there is a need for a new forensic tool that can accurately decipher time since death. One solution is to use microbes. So microbes are everywhere, including within the human body, such as in our GI tract, and when we die, these microbes do not die with us. Instead, they begin to decompose the body as it acts as an entirely new source of nutrients. Recent research by our lab has revealed that as a body decomposes, the microbial community that facilitates decomposition changes in a very predictable manner. So similar groups of microbes are becoming abundant at similar time frames of decomposition. We can use these patterns of microbial change to develop what we like to call a microbial stopwatch of death. And by understanding how the stopwatch ticks, we can then compare the microbial community. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. We can then compare the microbial community found on human remains to our stopwatch in order to estimate time since death. I'm currently part of a large project in collaboration with three facilities across the country that specialize in researching human decomposition. So far, a total of 36 human subjects have been placed across the three facilities and were allowed to decompose outdoors. And from each subject, samples of the skin and the nearby soil were taken daily. And this is, this is how we identified those microbial decomposers that we used to develop our stopwatch that can estimate time since death. In addition, at one facility, we had the fantastic opportunity to be able to collect rib bones every three weeks for the first nine months of decomposition and this was to investigate whether microbial invasion into bone could be used to estimate the time since death of skeletal remains. Results have shown that using the skin and soil, we can estimate time since death within about plus or minus three days over the first 21 days of decomposition, whereas using bone, we can estimate time since death within about plus or minus 30 days over the first nine months of decomposition. Currently, we are working with stakeholders in order to integrate this tool into the justice system, which will aid investigators in their efforts to reconstruct death scenes for both short and long-term time frames of decomposition, providing justice both for the families and providing justice for the victims. Thank you. <laughs> 